Tuned to Radio Freedom. Nothing new to report. Keep it tuned here for Minutemen Alerts. Hey. How may I be of sir? Opening fire! Tune to Radio Freedom. Nothing to report at the moment. Stay tuned for updates. <laughs> This is Radio Freedom, voice of the Minutemen. It's six o'clock. All quiet, which is how we like it. Stay safe out there, people. State your purpose, stranger. You walk on Atom's hallowed ground. I'm looking for some bombs. Nuclear bombs. You trivialize that which resides here. This place is holy. 
The children of Atom have sworn to guard this place until the time of the Great Divide. None shall enter. What's this Great Divide? One day, Atom will return, and his touch upon the Earth will bring the Great Divide. His glow will spread, it will illuminate, and it will birth infinite worlds from within us all. Trust me, I'm on your side here. I want to help you out. Atom has no need of help from non-believers. When he returns to us, these relics will carry his word and his glory to all corners of the Earth. That is why they must be safeguarded. I want to spread his, uh, g glory. Look, the bombs will get used, okay? Isn't that what you want? Perhaps then I have misjudged you. If you would see these relics used, then Atom's will is done. Take this and prepare to enter his inner sanctum. Follow the brilliance of the glow, and it shall lead you to the relics. May Atom's radiance warm your soul Captain Mitch Dunleavy, 132nd Engineering Corps at Sentinel Site Prescott. All lines of communication are down, and we're tracking multiple inbounds on radar. If this is a drill, we need confirmation immediately. We've got a lot of nervous soldiers over here, Command. If this is the big one, they want to head home to their families before it's too late. Some of the inbounds are getting awfully close. Wait a minute. The inbounds are splitting into multiple targets? Hell. This is it, isn't it? May God have mercy on our souls.
It's 9 p.m. All quiet, which is how we like it. Stay safe out there, people. Make sure you don't leave anything useful behind. This is Radio Freedom, broadcasting all day, all across the Commonwealth. Nothing new to report. Keep it tuned here for Minutemen Alerts. of the Minutemen. It's just past 10 p.m. All quiet here. Stay tuned for Minutemen Alerts. Looks like the Mark 28s are gonna do the trick. That was a good find. I'll work with your team to ensure that Prime's bombs remain stable after they're loaded into his pack. It won't be too much of a problem. Well, Dr. Lee, I have to admit, we couldn't have done this without you. <laughs> it's a little early to begin celebrating, Proctor Ingram. We haven't fully thrown the switch on Liberty Prime, and I'm just hoping all the work I've done to keep the system stable are gonna hold. Are you sure this is safe? Of course. I've checked every connection, every circuit myself. Prime will hold together. Proctor, all the readouts look green. I think it's time for you to perform the power shunt. Actually, I think I'm gonna let you press the button. After all, without your help, we'd still be staring at a pile of disassembled parts. It would be better if a trained technician performed that task, but I suppose you deserve to be the one to do it. Broadcasting all day, all across the Commonwealth. All's quiet across the Commonwealth. Stay safe out there. This is Radio Freedom. Broadcasting all day, all across the Commonwealth. Nothing to report. Stay 
safe out there, everyone. Liberty Prime, back online. Alright, let's run a basic diagnostic on him. Diagnostic command accepted. Give him a moment, he needs to adjust to his new configuration. Voice module online. Audio functionality test initialized. Designation Liberty Prime, Mark II. Mission, the liberation of Anchorage, Alaska. Primary targets, any and all red Chinese invaders. Now let me run a system analysis on battle readiness check. Liberty Prime, full system analysis. All systems, nominal, weapons, hot. Warning. Nuclear weapon payload depleted. Reload required. Warning. Power core offline. Running on external power only. Core restart recommended. Ability to repel red Chinese invaders. Compromised. Green lights across the board here. He's looking good from where I'm sitting. Doctor, if you wouldn't mind keeping an eye on the big guy here, I'd appreciate it. Well, I have to admit, I wasn't sure we'd be able to pull it off, but Liberty Prime's looking pretty good. What was that he said about his power core? Prime's in top shape, but his nuclear engine needs to be restarted. Right now, we have him running off of the Pridwin's engines. Once I get that sorted out, we'll send him off to kick in the Institute's front door. Before you head off to your next assignment, I have something for you. I came up with this little beauty myself. I think it'll add a bit more punch to your power armor. This wasn't necessary, Ingram. <sighs> Come on. You earned the damn thing. Besides, Liberty Prime isn't about to run out and get you a gift. Anyway, that's enough of that. You better hightail it up to the Pridwin. Elder Maxson said he needed to speak to you as soon as you were done here. And thank you, Knight. Without you, none of this would have been possible. When I get off duty, that sounds very stakeless in mind. If Elder Maxon ordered me to Nothing follow to him to the gates of the safe, people. I'd be the first one to kick them off. Unless you have business here, clear out. Scat off my boots. I'm proud to be serving under El.
the 30 second intervals elder maxon is there anything you wish to tell me knight not at all i have nothing to hide i find that very hard to believe proctor quinling completed the decryption of the data you retrieved from the institute a portion of his findings included a list of synths that went missing or escaped from their underground facility. After careful analysis of the information, we've discovered something. Unprecedented. Paladin Dance is a perfect match for one of the synths on that list. You're tuned to Radio Freedom, the voice of... Is Quinlan absolutely certain? Proctor Quinlan validated the information numerous times. I can assure you, his results are accurate. The data you brought back included a record of each subject's DNA. We keep the same information on file for all of our soldiers. Paladin Dance's DNA is a perfect match for a synth they called M797. To make matters worse, he's gone AWOL, disappeared without a trace. His sudden absence simply reinforces our conclusion that M797 and Paladin Dance are one and the same. I'm finding it difficult to believe that he never confided in you and then swore you to secrecy. You have to believe me. He never told me he was a synth. I suspect you're saying exactly what I want to hear, Knight. Do you wish to try again? After everything I've achieved, why would I jeopardize my position here? Because you never expected this information to see the light of day. Now tell me the truth before I have you thrown over the side of the Prickwin. After everything I've done for the Brotherhood, you have some nerve accusing me of lying. How dare you speak to me in that tone of voice? I'm growing tired of your lies. Tell me everything you know before it's too late. Has it ever occurred to you that Dance might not be aware of his own identity? No, it had not. However, even if that were true, Dance still represents a clear and present danger to us all. <laughs> your sincerity in this matter has been rather surprising. Apparently, I've misjudged you. Which means I've decided to take you at your word. However, that doesn't absolve you of your duty. Dance is a synth. He represents everything we hate. A monstrosity of technology. Our mission in the Commonwealth is clear. The Institute and its creations need to be destroyed in order to preserve our future. Which leaves me facing the most difficult order I've ever given. I'm ordering you to hunt down Dance and execute him. Isn't there some other way? Absolutely not. My decision is final. Listen, I'm not blind to the fact that Dance was your mentor, and this isn't an easy burden to bear. But if we're to remain strong, we can't afford to make exceptions. Even when it means executing one of our own. Find Proctor Quinlan. He's been analyzing the data and should be able to provide you with a starting point. And Knight, there's a promotion for you. You're dismissed. Stay safe, people. This is the Delta Z one. Attention, all personnel. Research patrols are a crucial facet of our operation here in the Commonwealth. Any Brotherhood soldiers that have not received a research patrol assignment oh, should speak no, to Proctor Quinlan immediately. I was told you were coming. Sorry about this business with Dance. What do you know about this situation? While I was decrypting all of the data you acquired from within the Institute, I came across a list. It appears that the Institute keeps exemplary records where their synths are concerned, including logging those that were reported missing. As I was perusing this list, I came across an image of Dance under the heading M797. A quick DNA comparison with our own records told the rest of the tale. I'm certain this comes as quite a shock to you, Knight. I'm sorry. He'll be missed. Doubtful. I wouldn't miss a synth any sooner than I'd miss a transistor radio. I was merely sorry that you'd been duped. No matter. I've been poring over Dance's duty reports, and unfortunately, I haven't found any concrete information. As you're well aware, Dance had intimate knowledge of the Commonwealth, and I'm afraid he could be seeking refuge anywhere. I think our best approach 
would be to identify every location he's ever visited and eliminate them as possibilities one by one. You may want to get comfortable. This could take quite a bit of... What the hell is this crap about dance being a sin? I assume your outburst was a reference to some doubt regarding Dance's identity. I can assure you that my findings are quite accurate, Scribe. So he sets Dance up, and then you knock him down. Is that it? How did you hear about it? There are no secrets in the Brotherhood. Maxon's made it clear that we're to locate Paladin Dance, and if we find him, report his location to you. That can only mean you've been sent to hunt him down. Orders are orders. Orders are orders? That's all you have to say? I can't believe that after everything Paladin Dance did for you, you're just gonna turn your back on him like this. There's obviously been a mistake, and we need to get to the bottom of it. Scribe Halen, you're addressing a senior officer, and you will show him the respect that he's due. Or so help me, I'll have you brought up on charges. Now, unless you're here with information that can assist us, I suggest you return to the police station immediately. Of course. My apologies, Proctor. I believe I have some information that's relevant to the search. Very well, then. Would you care to enlighten us? Or do we have to wait until you decide to grace us with your knowledge? Knight, if you'd accompany me to the flight deck, I'd like to show you the information I've compiled firsthand. I've stored the data on my Vertiberg gunship's computer. I'll take anything that gets me closer to finding Dance. Yes, sir. Proceed, Knight. I'll continue doing my research here. If you'll follow me, sir. Scribe Halen. Do you actually plan on killing Paladin Dance? That's a risky question, Halen. I know it is, but I need you to listen to me for a minute. I've known Paladin Dance ever since I was an initiate. He trained me, showed me the ropes, and when I screwed up, he taught me to dust myself off and move on. He's earned my admiration, my respect, and my friendship. I don't care what Quinlan's report says. I don't care if he's a machine or not. He still dances. Why are you telling me all of this? Because someone has to before you rush off and carry out Maxon's orders without thinking about what you're doing. Dance is the most selfless person I've ever met. I've watched him risk his own life based on nothing more than principle alone. That's why I'm asking you, not just as a member of the Brotherhood, but as a human being, give him a chance. Let him tell his side of the story. If you're not convinced by what he says, or somehow he's become truly lost to us. Radio Freedom, voice of the Minutemen. All quiet here. Stay tuned for Minutemen alerts. All right, I'll hear him out. That's all that I ask. I'll just have to trust that when the time comes, you'll do the right thing. <sighs> Before the Pribwin showed up, Dance had me identify a fallback point if we ever lost the police station. It was listening post Bravo, an old pre-war U.S. military outpost on the northern frontier of the Commonwealth. It's isolated, and we're the only ones that knew about it. So, there's a good chance that's where he's headed. Just be careful. There's no telling what state of mind he's in right now, or if he trusts any of us at all. It's 3 p.m. Nothing to report at the moment. Stay tuned for updates.
technological abominations need to be stopped at any cost. You know those synths with the plastic faces? They creep me the heck out. This is Radio Freedom, broadcasting all day, all across the Commonwealth. Nothing to report. much in the way of technology down here, is there? Hi. I'm not surprised Maxon sent you. He never liked to do the dirty work himself. Why didn't you tell me, Dance? Because I didn't know. Until Quinlan got that list decoded, I thought synths were the enemy. I never expected to hear that I was one of them. If it wasn't for Halen, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. So, what are your orders? Does Maxon even want me alive?
No. But I'm hoping there's a way out. Don't be ridiculous. Look, I'm not blind to the fact that this must be difficult for you. I wish Maxon had sent someone else. But that doesn't change a thing. I'm a synth, which means I need to be destroyed. If you disobey your orders, you're not only betraying Maxon. You're betraying the Brotherhood of Steel and everything it stands for. Synths can't be trusted. Machines were never meant to make their own decisions. They need to be controlled. Technology that's run amok is what brought the entire world to its knees, and humanity to the brink of extinction. I need to be the example, not the exception. The empathy that you're showing me, it's a human emotion. I appreciate what you're trying to do, but I've made my decision. I'm ready to accept the consequences of my true identity. Maxon's ordered you to execute me, and I'll be damned if I'm going to stand in your way. If you're so eager to die, then do it yourself. If you leave here without completing your orders, then I'll carry them out for you. Maxon's obviously testing you, and I refuse to be the one who causes you to fail. Is there any way out of this? We both know that this is the right thing to do. If you refuse to follow Maxon's orders, you're undermining everything the Brotherhood stands for. I can't allow that to happen on my account. If it needs to be done, then so be it. I've never been prouder of you than I am right now, brother. It's been a pleasure serving with you. of the Minutemen. It's just past 10 p.m. Nothing to report. Stay safe out there, everyone. out there. 
All quiet here. Stay Should the need arise, the these reinforced structures would make excellent cover. the situation with Paladin Dance. He's no longer a threat to the Brotherhood. Well done. Of course. Dance's execution creates a missing link in our chain of command. That traitor held quite an important position with us. I'm certain that you'll make a fine replacement. His quarters and all his possessions are now yours, including his personal suit of power armor. Congratulations, Paladin. I won't disappoint you, Elder. Had I even a single doubt in my mind, I wouldn't have awarded you the promotion. Just be aware that a Brotherhood Paladin is expected to be a symbol of integrity to our brothers and sisters. I trust you won't disappoint them or disappoint me. In any event, we still have the Institute to contend with and a lot of work to do before we can begin our final assault. While the finishing touches are being put onto Liberty Prime, Captain Kells has identified a potential threat to our operations. Report to him immediately for your next assignment. Ad Victorium, Paladin. Ah, Completion Paladin. time 14 Good. Now the unfortunate matter regarding dance has been settled. We can return to our primary mission. I'm ready, Captain. Good, because this mission demands your full attention. Now, before we launch our attack on the Institute, we need to address another threat. The Railroad. They're a small but capable group that uses subterfuge and guerrilla tactics to harass their enemies. Our tactical analysis says they could possibly hamper or harm our operations, which is a risk I'm not willing to take. If we strike them now, we should be able to maximize the amount of damage we do to their organization. Hit them before they hit us? I like it. Precisely. Destroying the railroad hinges on completely eliminating their leadership. Otherwise, they'll simply regroup somewhere else. To that end... Here's a list of the five targets we believe would cause a catastrophic failure in their chain of command. Consider it done. Thank you, Paladin. Now, before you depart, 
Proctor Ingram has additional orders for you to complete. Our sources tell us that the railroad has some sort of experimental or prototype robot in their headquarters. They're calling it the Predictive Analytic Machine, or PAM for short. <laughs> Cute, huh? They use the robot for complex strategic calculations that are much more efficient than anything we can generate here. If you could use this holotape to decrypt the security on Pam's terminal, it will force the unit to return to the Pridwin. I'm certain we could put Pam's computing power to good use. Otherwise, destroy it. We wouldn't want it to fall into the Institute's hands. I'll try to get it back here in one piece. Good. It'd be a hell of a waste if you didn't. I'm certain you'll do whatever it takes to complete the mission. When you're ready, proceed to the Old North Church and link up with our assault team. They'll provide demolition support and all the firepower you'll need to take the railroad down. Ad Victorium, Paladin. Try and get Pam back here in one piece, okay?
Nice assault. Fan out. Just happened. Let's see what I can do.
Voice interface is unavailable at this time. Stay safe out there, people. Pam. Intruder countermeasures active. This unit is incapable of voice communication. Well, it appears that the railroad won't be a hindrance to our future operations. Those sympathizers deserved exactly what they got. That they did. I'm also pleased you managed to secure Pam, rather than allow it to be destroyed. We are having it brought to the pre... It's an amazing... Right. Speaking of pre-war... Congratulations on another... Ad Victorium. of the Minutemen. It's 12 noon. Nothing to report. Stay safe. 
Attention all personnel. I'm disappointed I need to address this, but unsanctioned social contact with Commonwealth England? natives is strictly prohibited. Ringer, Paladin. Say that I blame you. Anyone who is engaged in such fraternization should report to Night Captain Kate for immediate decontamination. That is all. If we're going to defeat the Institute, we can't allow personal feelings to interfere with our mission. Spoken like a true disciple of Maxon. Anyway, we need to move on to more important things now. Like getting Liberty Prime off of life support. We've been feeding him power through the Pridwin's engines, but there isn't nearly enough juice to cold start his fusion reactor. That's why we need you to find us a beryllium agitator. I'm betting you know right where to find me. Of course I do. I didn't become head of ship maintenance just because of my good looks, you know. Quinlan dug up some dirt on a company called Mass Fusion. They were a power utility company before the world went belly up. The CEO was some kind of an inventor. Dreamed up all sorts of nuclear power toys. The Agitator was his crown jewel. Records show he was working on it in his lab at the top of their high-rise in the financial district. That's where we're headed. Hope you don't mind a little company, because I'm coming with you. It would be helpful if you tagged along. I knew you'd see it my way. Kells has a vertebrate on standby, waiting to drop us off on the roof of the Mass Fusion Tower. Grab whatever gear you need and meet me on the flight deck. But don't take too long. If the Institute finds out the Agitator's there, they'll do everything they can to keep it out of our hands. I can't believe that Dr. Lee's returned to the Brotherhood. I thought she was a traitor. on the roof, sir. Prepare to engage. Damn synths, they're crawling all over the place. Send them out before we drop.
report at the moment. Stay tuned for updates. Thank you. 
take what we can. They won't be needing those items any longer. Stand still. <laughs> Movement detected. Curious. Broadcasting all day, all across the Commonwealth. Nothing to report. Stay safe out there, everyone. This is Radio Freedom.
going. Mm. All quiet, which is how we like it. Stay safe out there, people. You cannot escape detection for long. Hostile sensor reading detected. The sensitivity of my sensors Is clearly present? needs adjustment. Hello? Up here are doing nothing. An ambush is detected. Curious. Hmm. Overactive sensors. Nothing more. Odd. My scanners must be malfunctioning. Was in error. No enemy detected. 